So let's take a moment to drop in into your feet, into your seat. You can keep your eyes closed if, if that works for you, if you feel good with that, or you can lower your lids halfway. I'm not gonna be showing anything entertaining on the screen, so don't, um, you don't need to look at the screen. Just go within whatever is supportive for you. Feel your breath moving in, expanding your beautiful body, receiving this nourishment, and letting go, returning to neutral and stillness. Follow your exhale to the end. Follow your inhale to the top and again to the end. And find that point of stillness where the exhale ends and the inhale begins. Hmm. And into that point of stillness, drop in this exploration invitation. My thriving reality. My thriving reality. What does it look like? What does it feel like, sound like, smell like, taste like? See yourself in the thriving reality. How you wake up in the morning, open your eyes, how you feel in your body. What thoughts are present? What are you excited about? When you get up, what is your morning like? What is your morning ritual? Who is around? Who is in your life? Who is in your home? How do you interact? What do you do by yourself or together? It's your thriving reality, remember? Designed by your desires. How does your day unfold? Where do you go? If you go anywhere. Hmm, what are you wearing as you're passing by the mirrors throughout your day and you catch a glimpse of you? How does it feel in your body to see your reflection? Hmm, who do you meet throughout the day? What do you do? What do you experience? Who are you being? How are people receiving you, responding to you. How does that feel? Hmm. Have your wisdom show you, your authentic wisdom show you what else is there in the thriving reality for you? that you can see, you can touch, you can experience, you can play with. What is there? Who is there? Who are you in that thriving reality? How much money do you have? <laughs> how much time do you have? And how do you steward your time and your money? What do you invest your time and your money in, in your thriving reality? How is your thriving a part of the thriving world, the thriving reality for all? What are you able to do? What does it bring back to you? What do you experience? How are you being? How do you feel about yourself? How do you feel about what's possible? Mm. And as your day is winding down, see who you see around at the end of the day. What do you do together? how we interact, what lights you up, what brings you joy, 
what are your evening activities or facilities? <laughs> and as you wind down and you go to bed and you're lying there in bed at the end of a full thriving day, how do you feel in your body? What thoughts are present for you? Looking back at your day, how do you feel? How do you feel looking forward to the next day of your thriving reality? How do you feel about the life that you've co-created as you drift peacefully to sleep? Hmm. And as you are getting ready to transition out of this experience, now take a bird's eye view on this experience and notice what prison guards have been following you around, right? With their measuring sticks and the, the old reality that the survival pillars and how, what stories they've been telling you and how they've been showing up in your body, right? And just say hi to them, I'll, I'll, I'll acknowledge, allow and appreciate, triple A them. And make space for your thriving reality, make space for your prison guards, for patriarchy police, every, there's plenty of space, it's an unlimited resource, right? This energetic space, I would take more space outside of your body, as much space as it needs of your thriving reality and everyone who's come to that party. Okay. And now bring your awareness again to your breath. Bring your awareness to your body in contact with the chair, with the floor. And when you're ready, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your hips. If you had your eyes closed, open your eyes, gently move them around the room. Here you are. Listen to the sounds, smell, taste, touch. Here you are. And as you're ready, would you please share with us glimpses into your thriving reality into the comments, as well as uh, your encounters with prison guards? Who did you notice? What did they say? So that once again, we can experience this as something that is not personal. So the more personal things you share and you recognize, ah, not personal. Um, hummingbird came by. Dr. Yuri, I love hummingbirds. They're my power animal. You know, hummingbirds, they fight for their nectar. They're not just like, I like, have to go like, they are vicious. They fight, they're very territorial, my nectar. And they migrate up to 2000 miles for their nectar. That's what I did too. I moved from New York to Tucson for this one, this nectar. And also Tucson is a marvelous place, but going back, so it's totally fine to be like vicious and I sometimes refer to myself as a Rottweiler with, with my joy, with my pleasure. I do not let go. <laughs> Won't let it be taken from me by patriarchy or anybody else. Mm. PG, when do you go to work? Where's your office, Karen? This is so good. I shared with you my struggle responding to our mentors um, invitation to explore the, the, the perfect day, my prison guards were like, no, but there's shit to get done. I cannot have a perfect day. And then layer by layer, doing a lot of work with, with this guy, um, a lot of work, layer by layer, little by little, my day is uh, started transforming into more. And then every piece that my, my prison guards were like, it's not possible. If you don't do this, everything will fall apart. There is nobody else who can do this for you. And then reality check. You drop a ball, nothing happens. Nobody dies. You move, you shift your schedule around, you prioritize yourself, your healing, your joy. And guess what? Everything grows and multiplies, all the good stuff. Amazing. Um, from money, PG said, the world is not safe. Stay in your comfort zone. Great job keeping your eyes on those. 
Mm, Kimberly, my powerful partnership with a wonderful man, PG says, if he doesn't exist, oh, he, he doesn't exist, he wouldn't want you. Fuck that. Yay, yay, here, here. That's my, what my prison guard said, too. I said, okay, all right. Whatever. <laughs> I am worried. My prison guards are getting a little boring. And thank you. And because we've been working together, right, you get to this point of where, where they do get boring. It gets repetitive because you get to recognize them. You can do that, it's unrealistic. And you can, I mean, if it works for you, you can use funny voices compassionately with like loving on them for keeping you safe, but also like poking fun at them sometimes too. I, I think it's, it's all fun and games, right? Once you start to reclaim your sovereignty, your leverage. Tracy, I felt this freedom in all caps, in my whole body, in a way I haven't felt since I was a small child. Ooh, I want this for you. I want this for every one of you. I want every one of you to be a role model for my daughter. Okay, will you do this for me, please? Will you do this for us? Will you do this for the world? We all deserve this. The world deserves this. We deserve this.